In this video, I want to share how you can create a dashboard. Specifically, how would you be able to create a sales dashboard? As you can see on my screen here, um, I'm in my general demo portal. Um, I'm looking at my reports right now. Where would you be able to find that? On the left hand side, we have this reporting option. If we click that, an expansion will uh, menu will come up here and you have this dashboards and reports. You have sales, service, forecast, goals. You want to create uh, goals uh, in your system here. But let's click on this dashboard. It'll bring me where I was uh, before there. And you can see we all, I already have a few different uh, uh, reports here in this revenue forecasting dashboard. And I have a few other dashboards I can choose from if I choose that drop down. Let me show you how you can create a dashboard here and and uh, and add different reports to that dashboard. That's what we're going to look at for this video. So uh, in the top right, we have a few different options. You can add reports to this dashboard, um, either from the saved reports or create one. But over on the left hand side, we have this create dashboard. All right. So I'm going to create that dashboard. I'm going to click that new dashboard then. And now you have a few different options here. You can make this private. Maybe you want to show this to everybody or maybe some specific users and maybe you just want them to view it um, and uh, or maybe you want them to be able to view and edit. So you got lots of options there. For this demo, I'll just use everybody to view and edit this one. And this one's just going to be called New Sales Dash for Dashboard, right? I'm going to click on that Create button and now a new sales dashboard has been created. I can click on that uh, banner there or I can exit here and uh, it'll bring me back to my sales dashboards and it'll be in the drop down here so if i look for that uh, new sales dash it'll be up at the top and now we have this dashboard but there's nothing in it where can i find some really good sales based um, reports to add into this dashboard well you can click first um, it'll it'll show you the option to to add reports here in the in the middle or in the top right um, you can you can create your own reports. I'll quickly show you what that looks like. So if I click on this um, create report here, I have a bunch of different uh, options. Like maybe you just want to target a single object. Maybe you want something very custom and it's going to have different associations or multiple different objects um, that you're trying to report on. It shows you a few different um, uh, examples here that you could use, which are really good. Um, but I'm not going to get into how to build out a report. Just want to find some good sales reports, maybe things that uh, uh, HubSpot already offers. So I'm going to click on the exit button here. In the left hand side, we have that warning, like I showed you earlier, and then that expansion menu. And we have reports. And then underneath that, we have sales and service. Let's click on sales here. This is important. They have a lot of really good reports let me move my face out of the way here for a second there's a lot under this um, analytics suites we have under sales different drop downs so we've got coach reps and teams forecasts and pipelines and sales outcomes these are the reports that i would focus on now i'm in the demo portal so you're not going to be able to see a whole lot of um a whole lot of information uh, that this can uh, these reports can um, use so some of them might be um, blank um, or like it might look weird like okay all of them have been created by one user and that's me in the in the system but there's a whole bunch of really good reports um, that you can use here and especially if you already have um, data in your crm these reports will uh, display uh, some valuable information so i would go through to see which ones you want there. Um, and then when you're ready, uh, you can say, you know what, I wanna add this, uh, or I wanna save this report to a dashboard. In the top right corner, click that save report. Um, we can save either the chart, which is this one up here, or we can save the table, which is down here. They're both valuable. Let me click that save um, at the top there. I can give this a name. So you can you can always edit uh, these as well. So if I if I exit this out, um, you could edit uh, the way that this looks here. Um, maybe you want uh, uh, area uh, horizon bar. Maybe you want the vertical bar there. Um, there's different there's different things that you can edit. Maybe it's uh, last month. Maybe it's yesterday or today. But when you're ready there, 
you can always stay there. Oh, and on the right hand side, we got more filters um, that you can add. So like which teams you, you want to filter on here um, and which pipelines we want to look at in particular. Right. So that's all important. So if I click on that save report again there, um, I'll leave the chart at the top for new sales dashboard, something like that. We'll give it a, a name there. Um, deals created for new sales dashboard. Um, and then it'll have it, you can, it'll all automatically have a description. You can always add to that. And then on the bottom here, we can add to an existing dashboard. We can search for that dashboard and that can be that new sales dash that we just created and even add it. Now let's go back to that dashboard and take a look at how we can move some of these um, reports around. So if I go back to reporting and I go back up to the top of the dashboards here, I can expand this here. I can make it smaller. I can make it larger if I want to. Um, and so you can see how customizable this might be as uh, as you bring in a lot more reports. And so, uh, you know, maybe you have uh, this dashboard right here is a good example. You have lots of different reports and you want to um, you want to format them in a certain way so that's easier to digest. Um, that's how you would do it. You can always. You know, move things around, make it make it easy to uh, make it easier on the eyes. So that is essentially how you can create a sales dashboard and start adding different um, sales reports there uh, to your dashboard. So I hope that helped. And if you have any questions, come contact us at setthecloseio We'd love to help you out. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching, and keep removing those revenue roadblocks. If you want more videos like this. Follow our channel for fresh new content every day. Check out our RevOps playlist or how about this video chosen just for you. See you next time.